Leith Rules Golf Society is based in Edinburgh and was formed to raise the profile of Leith as home to the first recorded written rules of golf. They were signed by John Rattray, a keen golfer and sportsman, on the 7th of March 1744. And we believe we can raise the profile best by having a statue of John Rattray. The golfers at Leith were a wee bit, a bit jealous of the archers who had been presented with a silver arrow in 1709. So the golfers decided that they would like to have uh, a silver golf club. And the City Council of Edinburgh agreed that this would be allowed and they would present the trophy. However, uh, they also added that they would want rules to be written for this competition. These original 13 rules were drawn up, recorded in the City Archives in the City of Edinburgh and also at the back of one of the minute books which is held at the home of what has now become the Honourable Company of Edinburgh Golfers based in Muirfield. Rattray went on from playing golf, winning in 1744 and winning again in 1745. But 1745 was a very significant year in Scottish history. Rattray was a surgeon. His examination results are noted in the records from 1740 of the Royal College of Surgeons in Edinburgh. He was asked by Bonnie Prince Charlie to act as Surgeon General to his forces. Rattray agreed but was taken prisoner at Culloden, tried for treason and sentenced to hang. But fortunately for John Rattray, his good friend and golfing partner, Lord Chief Justice Duncan Forbes, managed to get him freed. As a Letha, I think it's important that people understand that uh, Leith is the home of the rules of golf. So to that end we have decided that that is best illustrated by putting a statue on Leith Links of John Rattray uh, playing golf. I think that there should be a commemoration to John Rattray and the origin of the rules of golf and I think the game should get behind it. Um, because, because of that initiative, so you know, three, nearly 300 years ago, you have many people um, making a living out of the game, uh, many institutions that depend on those rules um, for their very existence. I think it's really important that that's acknowledged and people get behind it. He's been almost rubbed out of history, but we would like to recognise his tremendous contribution to golf and we believe the statue and Rattru story would be a very good tourist attraction for Leith and Edinburgh. On 11th September 2019, on the 275th anniversary of the signing of the rules, the sculpture and statue by David Annand was unveiled by the current captain of the Honourable Company of Edinburgh Golfers. Rattray was their first captain. Also unveiled were the plaques by representatives of the City of Edinburgh, by Leith Rules Golf Society and by the Rattray family. In the 18th century, the golfers played on rough seaside terrain and the landscaping to complete the precinct is currently being developed to form the undulating mounds that are typical and will give an authentic look complete with marram grass. The whole precinct will be handed back to the City of Edinburgh to be open and accessible to all as soon as the Marham grass develops and the mounds stabilised. There are continuing costs of around £5,000 to complete the project by the dedicated professional landscapers. Any help you may be able to give towards this would be very much appreciated, either by donation or by purchasing a limited edition miniature Rattray bronze. Full details about this can be found on the Golf and Thistle website.